on the week anniversary of the kickoff of Black Lives Matter. For we know that Minneapolis is one of the worst racial and economic gaps in the entire nation. We're coming together to officially call on the city council to fix some of these racial gaps that we have here in Minneapolis. For Minneapolis, we have a very important message that we can get accomplished this year. Minneapolis can become the first city in the nation, the first city in the nation to pass a comprehensive workers' rights package that includes earned sick time, that includes earned safe time, that includes an end to wage theft, that raises us from a minimum wage to a living wage, and that can pass the strongest fair scheduling ordinance in the entire nation. As you can see, over half the people who we surveyed here in North Minneapolis get less than a week notice of their schedule. So what we would like is for people to be able to plan their life, to be able to live a happy, respectful, and dignity life by knowing their schedule. If you have no idea when you're working the next week, right, how do you know how, if you need childcare or how much time you can spend with your family? Um, we would like people to be able to know how much is in their paycheck, right? So we will stop fluctuating schedules. We also would stop a practice called clopening here in Minneapolis, where people have to close and open. I work for uh, Chipotle, uh, and one of the scheduling issues I face there is I'll be scheduled to close the restaurant, and then I'll be scheduled to open the restaurant as well. I'd leave the restaurant at about 2 o'clock, and my drive would be about um, 30 to 40 minutes, and I'd get home, and it'll take me a little while to get set, go to sleep, and I have to be right back at the restaurant at 6 o'clock in the morning. The, and that affected me in so many ways. Like at, at the time I was in school full time and it affected my schoolwork. I was unable to focus on school. So sometimes there was nights where I didn't even get sleep because I would be at home while I, I get off of work. I'd be at home like doing homework or writing a paper. I spent weeks uh, deprived of sleep, months even. And um, it made me irritable. It, it robbed me of like basic joy in my life. And it, and it made me so I couldn't do the things I needed to do. Uh, and it reflected on everything from my, um, my schoolwork, which affected my GPA, which affects what school I can go to next. And so there's far-reaching far um, impact when you're talking about fair scheduling. At Avenue Eatery, we do offer fair scheduling. We have a preset schedule, which make, allows for everyone here to manage their lives a lot better, me, me included. No one has to wonder, you know, what what their check is going to be. They know how to plan out their life, plan out their, um, you know, their finances, et cetera, et cetera. If Sammy can do it here on Broadway, and this is a small business, why can't anyone else do like a franchise like McDonald's? They don't give me breaks all the time when I'm supposed to get my breaks. They actually clock you out anyway for your breaks. I've been seeing it in my paycheck. And I really haven't been saying nothing because, you know, I've been scared. But now, I can, knowing that I have backup through Satul, I'm, I'm able to come out and tell my story. We are uniting together and demanding change from McDonald's. We've gone on strike, signed petition. Now it's time for the city to follow our lead yeah. and act to hold big corporations accountable. And we need. We need action this year. We'll be taking action, meeting with city council members, and calling on the city to address the crisis that workers live every day. Supporting Minneapolis Works, fair scheduling, paid sick days, wage theft enforcement, and $15 an hour. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido.